And it came to pass, when all the kings of the Amorium, which were on the side of the yard and westward, and all the kings of the Canaanim, which were by the sea, heard that Yahuwah had dried up the waters of the Yarden from before the children of Yasharel, until we were passed over, that their heart melted. Neither was there Ruach in them any more, because of the children of Yasharel. At that time Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Make you sharp knives, and circumcise again the children of Yasharel the second time. And Yahusha made him sharp knives, and circumcised the children of Yasharel at the heel of the foreskins. And this is the cause why Yahusha did circumcise. All the people that came out of Mitzrayim, that were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness by the way, after they came out of Mitzrayim. Now all the people that came out were circumcised, but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way as they came forth out of Mitzrayim, them they had not circumcised. For the children of Yasharel walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Mitzrayim, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of Yahuwah, unto whom Yahuwah swore that he would not show them the land which Yahuwah swore unto their fathers that he would give us, a land that flows with milk and honey. And their children, whom he raised up in their stead, them Yahusha circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass, when they had done circumcising all the people, they that abode in their places in the camp, till they were whole, and Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Mitzrayim from off you. Wherefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And the children of Yasharel encamped in Gilgal, and kept the Pekach on the fourteenth day of the month at evening in the plains of Jericho. And they did eat of the old grain of the land on the morrow after the Pekach, Mastasa cakes and parched grain in the self same day. And the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the old grain of the land. Neither had the children of Yasharel manna any more, but they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass, when Yahusha was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Yahusha went unto him and said unto him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of Yahuwah am I now come. And Yahusha fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What says my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of Yahuwah's host said unto El Yahusha, Loose your shoe from off your foot, for the place whereon you stand is holy. And Yahusha did so. Yahusha, Joshua 5. Hey, 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 hold, hold on. on. Yahusha, Yahusha wins. wins.